Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to add, delete, and change instruments in the music that you are creating with MuseScore 3. Let's get started. So you will have MuseScore open to the piece that you're working on. And in order to add an instrument, uh, you will want to go up to the left hand side of the screen, go to edit, and then you will go down to instruments. So you can click on instruments. You also could just press I and that would also bring up this uh, instruments uh, palette. So uh, this is similar to when you um, started the document, um, but I wanted to show you uh, the instruments that you can choose from. Uh, if you go to the top, uh, you can see that um, that you could click on all instruments so that they're all there, or you can click on a different um, category of instruments you might be looking for, like maybe electronic music, and then you can see what they have available there. But let's go back up to all instruments. And I would like to, so far I've got piano in this score. Uh, I would like to add a couple other ones. Let's add maybe a voice and let's add a soprano. So what you do is you click on the part that you want to add. And then once it turns blue, you click on add. So now the left hand side is the instruments you have to choose from. The right hand side are the instruments that are, and, and the voice parts that are on your uh, staff that you are working on. So I have a soprano that I just added. Uh, and then let's add uh, an, another instrument. Let's go with, uh, let, uh, how about a woodwind? And we'll find a, uh, I was looking for possibly, flute sounds good to me. So we'll go ahead and add that. So now I've got piano, soprano, and flute. And in the order that you see them on the right hand side is the order that you'll see them in the staff. So um, now, uh, if you want to, that's how you add a, a part, an instrument to your staff. If you want to remove that, you just uh, click on the one that you want and then click on remove. So that'll take it away. But I'm going to put that back so you can see. So we've got our flute there. So piano, soprano, flute, I press OK. And you'll see it put them in that order. So piano, soprano, and flute. <clears throat> I would most likely want to reorder that. So in order to reorder it, you go back up to edit, instruments. Again, instead of doing that, you could just push I. So I pressed I and it brought up the instruments. And what you do is you go to the right hand side of the screen that shows you what's there. And I want flute at the top. So I click on that and there's an arrow here. You press up and up again. And now flute is the top. And then soprano, I want that as number two. So flute, soprano, and piano. So now that they're in the correct order, I'm going to press OK and we've got them in the order that I like. So flute, soprano, and piano. So it starts out with uh, piano. Let's just add a couple notes uh, in each one of these just so you can see what happens. And then let's add a couple in flute. Okay. So uh, I, I did that for a reason, and I want to show you why here in a second. So we now know how to put the parts in the order that we want, as well as how to add them. Again, in order to uh, uh, remove any of the parts that you have there, you just go back to Edit and Instruments, and you go to the right-hand side, and you click on the one that you want to remove, and then once it turns blue, just click on Remove, and that will remove it from your staff. So. Uh, now, the next part of this, I want to show you how you can create actual instrument parts. Um, so instead of seeing the score complete like this, uh, that with all the parts, you want to be able to give uh, each part to the instrument, uh, the performer that will be playing that part, uh, you will want to just create the part only um, for that instrument. So I will show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is go up to File and then click on parts. So file, parts, and now it's asking me, okay, select a part, and then it has some other things. So first thing, there aren't any parts there. So if you don't see any parts there, then you're gonna wanna click on all parts. Now what that's gonna do is gonna add all of the parts that you have in this score. Flute, soprano, piano, in the order that you have them in the score. And again, you can rename the different parts. I'm gonna keep the names that are there. And once you see that all the parts are there, you can go ahead and press OK. And now you'll notice at the top tabs here, we're added. So we have uh, the main score, but now they have a flute part. So I click on that and there's the flute part, soprano, and the piano part. 
And again, the main thing I want you to notice, so in the main score, the piano starts, and then it has four bars of rest at the end. So look at the piano part. You'll notice they put the four bars of rest there. And the great thing about uh, connecting the parts like this is that when you uh, go ahead and add a note to, let's say, the piano part, I'm going to add a couple notes here. And then now when I go back to piano, you'll see that the notes were added at the end. So this is a great way to keep all of the parts together without having to rewrite every single part. Um, you can go ahead and just uh, have them all connected and linked to this main score. Uh, so again, uh, you have the playback controls up on top. You could play this if you would like to. Uh, but again, this was mostly to show you how to add, change, or delete uh, instruments as well as link those instruments together so you can see the parts uh, in the scores that you're creating with MuseScore. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer those. If you uh, would like to see some more MuseScore tutorials, I have other ones on this channel. Um, I'll put links around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like this video and subscribe. I thank you, and I will see you in the next video.